Ted or alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for a much anticipated main event. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Lewis is showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. He's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Gets rid of that body shot. against the ropes. Keep doing what you're doing. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Lewis's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And right from the start, He's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get to it. 90 seconds to go here in this round. His right hand scores well. <laughs> Obviously, so many career highlights Keep it up. in the career of Lennox Lewis as we watch him in action here tonight. But one of the things he's most proud of is that he was able to face and beat all the heavyweights of his generation, including getting Mike Tyson at the end of Mike Tyson being Mike Tyson. You know, you use the word proud, and I think that that's so important here. We look at the right hand of Lennox. We look at the size of Lennox. But the pride, that legacy you talked about, he brings that into the ring. That makes him strong. Keep working about it. Last Lennox Lewis is... In the later stages of this round, he's gonna try to survive it. And there's the 
bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things, and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Lewis is tagged by a huge hook to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Solid right by Lewis. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Able to dismiss it. Lennox Lewis is the victim of a powerful hook. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Lewis's blocking ability is doing well for him there. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier, you did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're gonna deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. He missed with that headshot. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Keep fighting. Let's go! This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Listen, threw a wide punch and he caught you. Tighten up your punches, all right? So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs Focus. a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Nice block by Lewis. That right hand over the top lands flush.
smashes home with the uppercut. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And the big man, Lennox Lewis, able to land a nice hook. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Teddy, in any way, can Lennox Lewis be considered predictable with looking for that jab, setting up the right hand? Yeah, he can be a little bit, but with that long jab, kind of like a pitch in baseball, you know, you can take speed off it. You can hit the corners a little bit. He can change that jab. Three-quarter jab instead of a full jab, half jab. He can give you different looks. He takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Pace yourself. <laughs> Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Side to side. Little head hunting with the left. <laughs> Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Commits to the straight right. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good defense, just covering up down low. And we come to the end of the round. I mean, he's winning. He's taking. You gotta we take gotta it to him this round, all right? You gotta... Keep boxing smart, in and out, side to side. You understand? We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Lewis is punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. Well, we're watching Lennox Lewis here tonight, but Teddy, you know, a lot of American fight fans, sometimes they turn the other way with Lennox Lewis. They never really got behind him because they don't like the way he acts as a heavyweight champion. Well, Americans want you to wear your heart out on your sleeve to a certain point. They like emotion. They love emotion. And Lewis doesn't show that kind of passion. He's very contained, very cerebral, but he knows how to get results where it counts, in the ring. Halfway through round number four. Good counter punch. Nice. Solid. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. So now 
the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lewis. here. Can he survive the round? been scheduled to go longer but he just rescheduled it done over fiend knockout victory this matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport it was a good one indeed and for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time at the fights